How are we doing now? Okay, everybody just scream, get it done. Just, just do it. Well, it was good for me anyway. <laughs> like so many tricks we pull here, um, <laughs> or turn. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> like so many tricks we, we, we pull off here at this and other shows that we do, people often ask me, how did you do that stupid human trick? <laughs> and the only answer I have sucks because it makes me seem like a complete tool. Practice. <laughs> Which is a terrible thing to say. It doesn't matter if they're an adult or a child or especially the person writing the check for your performance. It's a terrible practice. They're like, yeah, that's great, thanks. But it's true. Um, we have a lot of events that we do around here. We have this, which is an experiment in theater. We have a Tuesday night workout at Jump Street. We have a Thursday night workout in the park. And this weekend, of course, is Spin Fest, which this year is World Circus Day. And if you are an enthusiast, a fan, or just looking for a wacky workout, that's gonna get you done. That's three days a week to work out, not too shabby. But if you want to be a performer, I have bad news. It is not enough. Uh, one of the things that we don't talk about is the fact that, well, on my calendar every day of the week, I have a rehearsal or practice session or something with a member of my troupe and members in the community that are, and I that are working on projects and things going on. And before you know it, pretty much every day is a massive grinding workout. Well, this doesn't sound like fun to you realize that one of my jobs is to like work out with one of my best friends and we practice juggling and then we drink a bottle of wine and it's not such a bad day. It's not a bad way to spend a day. And eventually, after many, many hours of doing this, you get to the point where, well, you, you suck a little less. And then, well, that moment comes where you get to put the pedal to the metal and find out if it's any good. Places like this is where that tends to happen. I have a regular workout, for example, on Friday night or Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon, I get a phone call about 1.30. My, my juggling partner, part of the juggling gents of the Circus Freaks, Alan Blakely, and I were about to go to lunch, eat a bunch of Indian food. He will appreciate that. He's not here tonight. Um, we were about to go eat a bunch of Indian food. My phone rings. And in the course of a five-minute phone call, somebody asked me, do you have variety entertainers? Can you come juggle? I said, when? They said, um, call is in about five hours. We have no plan. We have an untested act and we need to find more performers. So we gather everybody we could find, uh, things to shout out. Um, Marie Martin came, came to our rescue. A, a name that has not traveled with the Circus Freaks before, uh, Mr. Johnny Morbid took his first turn on a professional stage and did quite well. He did quite well. No, it was not a children's show. It was a variety hour with an MC by the name of Naughty Pierre. I, 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 leave it, I leave it to your imagination. But needless to say, it went surprisingly well. And I don't just mean for with five hours notice. I mean, it went surprisingly well. I felt really good about the fact that I, you know, I watched uh, Catherine Chambers, who plays Posey, we've talked about her in the past, hop up on a stage and do a 200-year-old audience participation gag that killed. It was amazing. It was great. And I was so proud of her. And then Alan and I threw knives at each other, and no one was killed. And that was a really big deal because that was the first time we, we've been working on that for three months and we finally got it to happen on a stage with five hours warning, no preparation, and boy, we wish we hadn't eaten as big a lunch as we had because we were <laughs> good. <laughs> He'd come up and tell you everything I did. He was a champ. Everything I did wrong. He made me look great. The point of this is we had a bunch of things that we did in that show that were not new. Uh, Johnny told a story that he had told here. Uh, Maria had done two performances that she had done here. One was a 200-year-old uh, circus sideshow bit. And, um, you know, and then we'd managed to work, show something that we'd been working on for three months. These are things that in the circus, they call this your bag. You have a, a, a bunch of ideas. If you're a musician, shout real quick. If you're a musician who has half your CD you're working on in your head right now and can probably play it gun to your head, shout. About the same volume. People are working on stuff all the time. How you get it done, how you get anything done, is 
to keep doing it, to get out there and do it. And one of the things that occurred to me is this place is this amazing place where we try to have different things every week, but I want to remind you of something. If you have a new twist on an idea you've done, if you want to show us how far an act has come after a couple months of practice, bring it back up here. I want to see it. Do you guys? Please bring your ideas. We want to see them. We want to watch them. We want to help them grow. We want to get better pictures of your brand new shiny costume. And we want to do it every week right here at the open stage. So please do it. That said, I was really excited that we got through a show. And I'm really excited to be here feeling like I had a little victory with stuff I've been doing over and over. So now I'm ready to do some new scary stuff. Who's with me?